Today I'm going to show you how to make a one-way door. So you can go through the door, but you can't go back. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Good for mazes and, and uh, dungeons and stuff like that. And you could also make this private so that only one person can go through once you see how it's done. Let's go ahead and get a fresh world and get started with that. I got an empty base plate right here. Let's go ahead and add a part. And that's going to be our door. There's a part. I'm going to call that door. Nice. And let's change the size of our door so it's more door-like. I'll make the size 0. 0.5 by 12 by 8. There we go. And it's in the ground because collisions are off. We can turn collisions on. Let's move it up first. Move it up. Turn collisions on. Bump it to the ground. Turn collisions off. Now that door is going to fall over, so I'm going to go down to anchored, turn that on. All right, and now with the collisions off, I'm going to hit a control D. I'm going to move that duplicate forward. This part's going to be invisible and it's going to turn on my collision groups for the door. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We don't want to be able to get around it or anything. And if it's thin, it's fine, but then you'll kind of get, you'll kind of pause before you go through. If you make it thick, um, it's going to be a little bit smoother of a transition. And you might want them to stop. That's how you do it if you want them to stop. Let's call this entrance. Uh, I spelled entrance wrong. Entrance. And I have anchored is on. We're going to turn can collide off. Oh, I want to go the other way. Can collide off. And then I'm going to make it invisible. So let's scroll all the way up to transparency one. There we go. All right, I'm gonna hit the move tool. Remember collisions are off. I'm gonna control D, it'll duplicate in place. I'm gonna move this to the other side and I'm gonna make this exit. There we go. Now get your door, uh, control click the entrance, control click the exit, right click, and we'll group as model. And let's call this one way door. One way door. And I'll open up the one way door, hit the plus, add a script, and then we'll call this uh, door collisions. There we go. Let's get rid of this print statement and add some variables. So local, oh, we need one for the door, door equals script dot parent. And then you have to go down a level door. And then we're going to need one for the entrance and rents script dot parent dot entrance. We're going to need one for the exit script dot parent dot exit. We're going to need the physics service. So I'll do local PS equals gain get service physics service. Now with the physics service, we're going to need a couple collision groups. So we could do that with the PS colon register collision group. I'm going to do one called the door PS register collision group, one called enter group. And then one more, you can probably see where this is going. It's going to be the exit group. All right, so the door is going to be easy. We can assign that now. So the door dot collision group is going to be equal to door. So you're going to set it equal to that name right there. That collision group will be that name. All right, now what else do we have to do? Oh, in the physics uh, the physics service, we have this collision group set collidable, and then we'll get the enter group. Did I call it enter group? Or Yeah, I did. All right. I, I must have changed from entrance to enter. I like enter better, though. I'm going to stick with it. And then we're going to get the door group. We're going to make that false. So anything in the enter group, can pass through anything in the door group and vice versa. And then we'll do PS collision group set collidable. We're going to get our exit group. 
in the door group and these are collidable. So if you're in the exit group and you hit the door, you're not going to go through. If you're in the enter group and you hit the door, you are. So you can see how this is going. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And now we have to do our touched events. So I'll do, we have this entrance part, right? Let's get the entrance part dot touched. Connect that to, we'll just do an anonymous function, a function with no name. We'll say other part, that's the part that touched my entrance part. That could be like a foot or a head or something like that. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a humanoid in that part. Well, uh, associated with that part. So we'll say other part dot parent, find first child, which is the humanoid. So if that's a hand, the parent will be the character. Then we're going to look down and see if we could find a humanoid. Then we're going to know it's some sort of character. So we're not going to check for players. Zombies can go one way too, or whatever monster if they have a humanoid. So let's just check to see if Hume then. Uh, we're not going to allow any, just any part to trigger this though, because hands and feet can go through parts. So you don't want to accidentally reach through the door and touch the exit part or the entrance part, vice versa. So let's check if the other part dot name equals equals humanoid root part. Then we'll also check if the other part dot name equals equals upper torso. And let me just move this a little bit. What else do we want to do? Uh, let's check. Oh, it always adds that then. Let's get rid of the then. There we go. Uh, we'll do other part. Oh, it could be R6, right? Let's check for R6s too. Uh, torso. And then R6's heads are also can currently can collide is activated. So we could do a check on the head too. I just don't want hands and feet, but I'm going to check up for a few things. Oh man, other part. Other part name equals equals head. Then. Nice. This is just an extra check so you can't slip through by getting a hand through there or something like that. Then what I want to do is I want to get my set char collision group. So this is the entrance group, right? I'm going to pass in the character, which is the other part dot parent. And I'm also going to pass in the enter group name of the collision group. And that is going to set my character to the collision group for entering when he hits the entrance part. Now this, I'm going to cringe because it induces a lot of errors. If you're not careful, I'm going to copy it and then control V to paste it. And let's hope we don't mess up. I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. We have an exit part. Rest of the line looks good. That looks good. This all looks good. Exit. Right. That's what we call it. We call it the exit group. Exit group. All right, now we're done. So if you touch the exit group, once you pass through the door, you can no longer go through because the exit group and the door group collide. Let's try it out. Hopefully I got all my, my anchors on so they don't fall over. All right, we went through. Did you see how we paused a little bit though? We could make that entrance part a little thicker so that we don't pause. Uh, but he can't get through. Can you get through on the angle? You see how that hand, see that hand getting through? That's why I didn't allow the hand to be part of the, the whole process of changing the, changing the group. He went, he went through pretty smoothly there. I don't think we have to make that thicker. All right. So that's pretty cool. That's one way door. You can put a couple walls around there. And then if he's in a dungeon, he's trapped. He won't be able to get out. 